testing one two okay. All right, can you all hear me okay? Yes. Perfect, okay. So I first uh, wanted to uh, thank uh, uh, Pandian Uncle and Dupanti for giving us the opportunity to speak about Siddhartha today. And I feel like it's like a privilege and a great honor for all of us to speak about him. And uh, second, I also want to give a big round of applause to Sid because he is once again the man of the hour. So each of us are gonna share about like our experiences with Sid in uh, some way, form, or fashion. So um, I'm gonna go first. So um, the first time I met Sid was before college even started, virtually on the Aggie Forum roommate portal. At the time, I had already picked my dorm, but had not found a roommate. Um, I didn't have too many close friends from high school, and from the very few I did, none of them went to a &M. So that left me with needing to find a roommate, and I didn't want to be randomly assigned to one as it was my first year of college. So I searched through the portal, hoping to find someone with similar interests like me. While searching through this online portal, I stumbled across a name. It read Siddharth Pandian. I was like, okay, this is someone with my name, an Indian, and potentially someone who spoke the same language. Um, I got more in, uh, I got more intrigued and read more into his profile. He mentioned that he plays chess, as Garb mentioned, and he was also going into engineering. I really felt like at this point it was a no-brainer, and I should request Sid to be my roommate. And as you may have guessed, that is what I did, and we became roommates. I feel to this day that finding and choosing Sid to be my roommate my freshman year of college was the best decision I made to start my college life. We had, we had some great memories together, and I want to highlight on a few of them that made a difference in my life. So in December of 2017, towards the end of my freshman fall semester, me and Sid were walking around campus when suddenly we felt some precipitation from the sky. Initially, I thought it was either rain or ice, but soon I found out it was snow. <laughs> I literally was screaming with joy when I saw this, as snow is unheard of during the winters in Texas, as you might know. At best, you would get ice, but there legit was so much snow that someone had actually built a snowman right outside the Commons dining hall. <laughs> this was a winter miracle for us, and we cherished every second of it through the night. Fast forwarding to my sophomore year and junior year, I had made a lot of new friends, and it was largely in part due to Sid. One thing I have to say about Sid and all his friends is that they are very easy to get along with. I was always able to be myself around Sid and his friends, and that is the best thing that you can ask for in a friend. We had fun times together, having dosa nights, eating at Taz, studying together, and even celebrating his 20th birthday. The final icing on the cake was when we graduated and walked the stage together on the same day. It was a special day for both of us as we got to finally see our four years of hard work pay off and receive our diplomas from Texas A&M University. When I look back on my college days, I felt they were exciting, memorable, and unforgettable, largely in part due to Sid. Everything fell into place perfectly and Sid was alongside every step of the way as not only a great roommate, but an amazing friend. I'm very happy for Sid, and I wish him the best on the next chapter of his life. Thank you. So now we're gonna have uh, Jyoti, uh, Jyoti Ramita Jane speak on a few words about Sid. For, for those who don't know me, I'm Jyoti Ramita one of Sid's groomsmen and his longtime partner in crime. I first met Sid through our mutual friend, Abhinav, who's that tall, handsome guy over there. <laughs> he promised me we shared a lot of values and interests, but little did I know, one of those values was a deep commitment to not letting me win at all. <laughs> you see, Sid and I became roommates. 
And I had this grand vision of transforming us into fitness warriors. I thought I could whip Sid and other, uh, our other roommates into shape with my intense workout plans. I fondly remember a couple of weeks into a regimen when we were both on the treadmill. I felt proud of myself for sticking to it, although I was pretty exhausted after 10 minutes of running. But then I glanced over at Sid's treadmill. I was pretty proud of him too, as he effortless, effortlessly continued on. But then I realized, wait a minute, his treadmill read 20 minutes. Before I knew it, in the following weeks, I was the one gasping for breath while Sid was laughing at me. It, it was as if I had signed up to be the coach only to find out that I was training a star athlete. I began to question, was I really training him or was he training me? <laughs> We've had some wild times together from affectionately calling our bald French roommate Caillou to hosting each other's birthday parties <laughs> like we own the place to being the only one sober at a medical school get together which is basically a cocktail of chaos. I'll never forget those pickup basketball games where Sid was just casually sink three pointers for days and layups while I was just trying to trip over, not trying to trip over my own feet. One weekend morning, my brother, who also attended AM with us, casually told me, I'm playing chess with Sid, as he sat deep in thought, nearly sweating bullets. I thought to myself, what kind of joke is my brother pulling? Where's the board? I don't see it. Turns out it was a mental chess match. Sid was lounging with his coffee while my brother looked like he was racing to keep up, asking, I think I'm losing, Sid. How many moves have we made yet? Here I was, having trouble memorizing minute details of some new biochemistry pathway, and Sid was mentally annihilating my brother 30 moves into some imaginary chess game. <laughs> I half expected Sid to pull out a chess board just to tease him. Whether it was to a mental chess match with my brother or simply helping me with my physics homework, Sid's intelligence is astounding. I'm still scared to mention it, but I almost began to like the field of mathematics. I'd like to think Sid is one of the reasons we'll soon have an engineer in our family, though I can't promise we won't be calling him to debug our life choices instead. <laughs> We've spent countless nights binge watching Breaking Bad, The Bachelorette, and Friends, making jokes about our future careers and the wonderful woman we, not, we end up with. And now here he is, ready to start his own epic love story. I think it's safe to say he's found his Rachel. Let's just hope, let's just hope he's got a little bit more game than Ross. <laughs> we motivate each other countlessly through study sessions for difficult tests, bonding over bhakti yoga when we needed a little bit more spirituality in our lives. I was pretty thrilled when I got my medical school acceptance and realized Sid would be in Dallas-Fort Worth area with me. What are the odds, right? It's like the universe was telling me that we needed more late night crumble cookie sessions and random philosophical debates. Above all, Sid has been like family to me, especially at times when I miss my own. His kindness and generosity have truly made a difference in my life. He has been a constant reminder of the values we grew up with, embracing Hindu morals even in this wild college times. Let's be real, that's no small feat. As he steps into his, this new chapter as a husband, I have no doubt that he'll be an incredible partner and maybe even father one day. Sid, you've shown me what it means to be a stand-up guy. Here's to many more adventures together. May your life ahead be filled with love, laughter, and a few more 5Ks. So let's give a round of applause for Sid and Danu. May your journey together be as amazing as you can. Hi, uh, I'm Jualin, and I was Sid's roommate for a little bit over the last two years. Um, and I actually didn't know Sid at all when I first became roommates with him, but I lived with Ram, and Ram was like, oh, I have a friend who is looking for a roommate. And I'd met Sid like once at this point. We've been like rock climbing with me, him, and Goro. Spent like an hour with him. I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, I guess I'll room with him. Um, one of the best decisions that I ever made, uh, because I think Sid has been like one of the best roommates I've ever had. And I think he is like the embodiment of, as Yurthi was saying, what it means to be a stand-up person and how diligent he is in everything that he does, whether it be his work or uh, doing his master's classes or it's just a hobby that he gets into. Like there was a time where he got super, super into the flags of the world, 
Don't ask me why. Uh, but for some reason, if he had the flags and he had them hung up around his room, and he learned like every country, and like he could name them like in like a second flat, like every single country, and he knew where they were all on the map. And I was like, why? He was like, oh, it's just cool. And like, he just did it like over a week. And he just like remembers it still, even to this day. Um, and we also play chess a lot together, and we would, I am better than him. Uh, <laughs> but Sid's actually, Sid's a lot better than I thought he was. And I mean, he really made me work to be, to win. And I think that's just, that just goes to show how intellectual and how smart he is. And when he puts his mind to something, uh, he's able to make anything happen. Whether it be in his personal life, work life, uh, he puts 100% into whatever it is that he's doing. And that, I think, allows him to do great things. And I can't wait to see what he does uh, as a future husband and father one day. Uh, one funny story though, as smart as Sid might be, uh, obviously everyone has their down moments, but I think Sid's uh, defining moment is one day I was trying to go to class the next day, and it was still during like COVID at this time, so Sid was just working from home at this point. I try to lock the door when I'm leaving, and I'm like, oh wait, like my key's not going in, and then I realize it's because the keys are already in the door, but it's Sid's keys that have been in the door for the entire night, including his car keys. And I was like, there's no way. And Sid was still asleep at this point, so I, I'm just like, okay, I guess. And then I just like take him out, lock his car, put them in, leave, and I text him, I'm like, yo, you left? You left your keys in the door the entire night. I mean, nothing happened, so it worked out. But I think it just goes to show that uh, everyone has their down moments, but Sid definitely has more up, and I can't wait to see uh, how much he does in the future. All right, so my name is Ram, um, and I think most of you know me, right? Yeah, I think most of you. I think if you don't know me, you're probably at the wrong wedding. <laughs> uh, so um, I've known Sid since the summer of 2017. Um, some, one of the devotees like pulled both of us behind the temple on Janmashtami or something, and it was dark, and he's just like, oh, yeah, here's Sid, he's going to that's the Sarah. And, uh, and I was just like, oh, hi. And then I thought it was just like some, you know, it was just gonna be some random guy. But honestly, the, the impact he's has had on me is like honestly phenomenal. And I just couldn't imagine my life kind of, I mean, I don't think anyone's could imagine our lives kind of not knowing Sid. Um, you know, I, you know, I wanted to tell you a little bit about, well, how I was trying to come up with this speech. Like, I think Dwan and um, Kishan know, like, I was I was coming up with some elaborate plans. Like I think where's Damodar at the Yeah, I was trying your chat GPT method and didn't like it. <laughs> I was I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I should show some pictures of you know Sid. I looked through all my photos. It was just him sleeping in different weird positions in various like honestly any place any situation he could fall asleep. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, rest assured, right? Um, Let's, so I just wanted to you know, kind of speak from the heart, tell you, tell you a little bit about who Sid is. Um, and so we, we uh, met you know, before Texas A&M, before we went to college. We didn't room the first year, we roomed the second year in an apartment with uh, Sid Sundar and, and Panyan. And you know, every weekend we'd be visited by either my parents or Namadurati Mataji or Radha Auntie. Where's Radha Auntie? Yeah, there you go. So these, like, they're both like second moms to us, basically. You know, they fed us. They basically kept us from starvation because we really couldn't read our own body signals. <laughs> so, um, you know, when we were in an apartment, we were all learning how to use a dishwasher and a washing machine. And uh, you know, we really grew up together. And um, you know, how was Sid as a, you know, how was he as a student? It was, um, well, I'd say before he met Danu, he was he was a stud. <laughs> Uh, sorry, studious, studious, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, Mataji, you, know, you see how good looking he is? Don't worry, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> he is getting no action whatsoever. <laughs> uh, he, I think his, his GPA and transcript is speak for themselves, you know? <laughs> so, so that is really lucky. He's, she's getting a good, good, good guy. Um, you know, Sid, but he was a very selfless person. Um, I think when, when he first moved out of College Station and he moved up to Dallas to start his, you know, job and everything, I showed him to his apartment and, you know, I just wanted to, you know, live with him for a little bit, just like help him set up and stuff. 
not much to set up really. <laughs> so when I showed up to the apartment, uh, I was like, hey, where are we sleeping? Pointed to a mat. And uh, I was like, okay, okay, cool. So uh, we'll get a mattress soon. He's like, oh no, it's comfortable, man. It's, it's all good, it's all good. Um, and, then, and then we were like, and I was like, okay, we cooked dinner and we like, it was time to eat. And I was like, okay, dude, we should buy some chairs and a table. He's like, no, 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 let's move the mat from the bedroom into the living room. He's like, bro, just, it's, it's multi-purpose, you know? It's like, we're all good. And then he's, and I was like, okay, cool, cool. We started eating, I was like, oh, let's put on like a Netflix show or something, let's, let's, let's watch something. I was like, oh, we should probably get a TV, right? You just got like his cool job at Capital One. He's like, no, 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 watch, watch, watch. Goes over to his you know, work computer, unplugs the monitor, moves it to the living room, you know, HDMI to the laptop. He's like, bro, theater set up right here, 4K, everything. Like, you got it, it's no need. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, Matthew, whenever you go to the apartment, you see any furniture, that's, you know, where the inspiration came from, okay? So his life was elevated from the floor onto the chair. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and then, um, yeah, and let's see. So, so he's a very selfless person, right? Um, he's he would he would like give the shirt off of his own back to help you know, to people he cared about, and um, and I guess you know for you know when you live with Donna, you're, she's probably gonna take all your stuff anyway, right? So, uh, so that's good. Um, he's he's very he's very grounded. He's very humble. Um, one time we were in college, and I don't think I don't know if you remember this, but I think we were like playing basketball one time. At the at the rec, and um, after we were done, it was like eleven o'clock or midnight or something. The only thing open was Taco Bell, and we were like, you know, we were like kind of broke at that time. We weren't making any money, so all the friends we like scraped together all the money we had in our pocket. Like this was Sid's idea. Like, like we scraped together all the money money in our pockets, and we were like, we went to Taco Bell. We we're like, how are we gonna do? How are we gonna fill our stomachs? We were like more hungry than ever, and then we so it's like, okay, you know what? The cheese beater and rice burrito was one dollar. We had thirty dollars combined. We went up to the, now the, the inside of the Taco Bell's clothes. So we walked into the drive-through, and then we like knocked on the window. The lady was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and then she like opened the way. He's like, uh, "How can I help you?" And he's like, "Okay, thirty cheese and beer rice burritos, please." He's like, "Thirty? Thirty?" <laughs> and then like, and then we all came up behind him. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we were all sweaty. We were like playing basketball. We were so hungry, and she like looked down on us like. So kind of, she's like, okay, you know what, I'll do it. And she added and threw in a few extra too. So we were, you know, happy for, for the night. And, you know, I think it really goes to show, like, just like, it's like, you know, he's just like a down to earth person. If you need every, anybody to kind of keep you grounded, keep you there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, since he's a Brahmana now, he's, you know, he's good at begging for alms. So I think that, that kind of helps too, right? Um, yeah, anyway, and I, and I just wanted to wrap up and um, just, just say that, uh, Donna, when you're watching this, you're getting a fantastic guy, a real stand-up guy, like everybody else said. He's selfless, he's humble. He's he's always going to be there for you. He's never had a, like an inch of ego in his life. And you know, um, and Sid, from me to you, um, I promise to be there whenever you need. I will like literally just I'll like literally drive up. And you know, I drive up literally. I like stayed in his house for two extra. I was supposed to be living in Austin. I just like stayed in his house for two months just because I because I liked it. I like he let me drive his car and just like I was just like I was I was just homeless. I was like in his house. So, uh, but yeah, I promise to be there for you. I promise to be the worst influence on your kids and be the worst uncle you can possibly imagine. Um, but uh, but yeah, but whatever happens, I love you, brother. Good luck in your married life. Thank you so much.